If 2018's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse taught folks anything, it's that Spider-Man isn't the only Spider-Person in the Marvel multiverse. And of course, where there's a Spider-Man, there's a disturbingly large rogues gallery of his greatest villains as well. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 insane alternate versions of Spider-Man villains. Number 10, Green Goblin of Earth 1610. Over in the Ultimate Universe, otherwise known as Earth 1610, Norman Osborn became the Green Goblin, but not in the same way as in Earth 616. Osborn was working on the Super Soldier drug for S.H.I.E.L.D., and after seeing an Oz-injected spider bite result in turning Peter Parker into Spider-Man, he got an idea. An awful idea, the future Goblin had a wonderful, awful idea. He theorized that infusing the Oz formula with his own DNA would transform him into a better version of himself. And he was somewhat right and horribly wrong at the same time. The experiment, of course, didn't go to plan, and an explosion resulted in him turning into a giant monster. In terms of appearance, well, he's a giant green goblin, as his name implies. He has large horns, bleeds orange, sees everything in a red filter, and stands at 7 feet tall, weighing in at about 1,000 pounds. He can create fiery bolts of energy, is superhuman in terms of strength, speed, dexterity, healing, stamina, agility, and pretty much everything else you can think of, and thanks to the Oz formula, he's also immortal. Number 9. Sandman of Earth 9214 Sandman is easily one of Spider-Man's most powerful villains, even if he has been defeated by some water and a vacuum cleaner once or twice. Of course, that's in Marvel's Earth 616, and in the Marvel multiverse, there are versions of the character who put up more of a fight. On Earth 9214, which is the Noir universe, Sandman received his powers in the 1920s or early 30s, though he was already powerful before that happened. Flint Marco worked as one of the crime master's henchmen, but people called him Sandman anyway due to his penchant for pummeling his victims to death with his bare fists. While he doesn't have the ability to manipulate sand, nor is he comprised of it, Flint Marco here has the ability to internally manipulate his own physiology. He can make his skin harder than granite, which makes it easy for him to stand up to Spider-Man in a fight. Number 8. Dr. Octopus of Earth TRN 700 Dr. Otto Octavius may be the typical version of Doc Ock across the multiverse, but he's hardly the only person to take on that name. On Earth TRN 700, which is the primary universe seen in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Doc Ock is a woman named Dr. Olivia Octavius. Dr. Octavius worked as the head scientist and CEO of Alchemax, but under the table, she worked as Wilson Fisk's chief scientific advisor in charge of his project aimed at developing an interdimensional portal. Spider-Man's presence in the energy stream pulled several versions of Spider-Man from their own realities into that of Earth TRN 700. Unlike her Earth 616 counterpart, Doc Ock's arms aren't comprised of metal here. Hers are inflatable and can be called from a harness she wears on her back, which is hidden under her clothing. The arms function much like the other versions of the character, but they are far more versatile and appear to extend further than others. Number 7. Hobgoblin of Earth 9500 On Earth 616, there are several people who have donned the Hobgoblin mantle over the years, and the same is true in other realities. One of the more interesting is the Hobgoblin of Earth 9500, which is set in the year 2211. Robin Bourne was the daughter of Spider-Man in the 23rd century, but after she developed a theory about the demise of the multiverse, she created a suit and weapons, hoping to save everyone from her reality. Her father arrested her after learning that she would become a threat to the time stream in the near future though. She was then rescued from imprisonment by her boyfriend, but removing her from stasis improperly drove Robin insane. She retrieved her suit and weapons from a time sandwich, which kept them 10 seconds in the future, and she became the hobgoblin of her time. Her weaponry consists of time manipulation devices, which includes something called a retcon bomb. When she attempted to kill her father with this one, she missed and hit a boyfriend who was erased from existence. From there, she traveled the multiverse intent on using retcon bombs on different versions of Spider-Man. Number 6. Craven of Earth 7840 In any reality, Craven is one of the sickest villains Spider-Man has ever had to face. After all, he's a guy who was so into hunting, he opted to hunt Spider-Man after tracking down and killing every other deadly animal in the world. Regardless though, he is ruthless, cunning, and brilliant, which makes for a dangerous foe in Spider-Man's rogues gallery. Craven exists in many realities of the multiverse, including Earth 7840, which is the reality of the amazing Man-Spider. Earth 7840 is a reality where animals have anthropomorphic qualities and live side by side with humans. 
Insects are more prominent in this reality as well, but all manner of animals are represented. Instead of going by the name Craven, then, the villain is known as Marvin the Hunter in this reality, where he's represented as an anthropomorphic feline. Big Marv here is essentially the same character as Craven in Earth 616's continuity, but because he's a villainous cat man who hunts down the man spider, he's certainly the oddest Craven in the multiverse. Number 5, Electro of Earth 1082. Electro is one of those foes who became more dangerous as time went on, eventually becoming incredibly powerful. Initially, Spider Man could just wear a rubber lined suit to take on the menace, but after a while, Electro evolved into a being of pure energy who could travel around the world via electric cables. As in any reality, Electro is a powerful foe, but on Earth 1082, he's at the top of the scale. Mike Dillon was contacted by Max Dillon, his counterpart from another reality, who showed him how to travel the multiverse. The two men then worked together with multiple Doc Ox to assemble an army of Electros. The army took up residence in Mike's home reality, but he wasn't content with his status as simply being the leader of an army of himself, so opted for an upgrade. Using stolen Kree technology, which was used initially to create the supreme intelligence, he transformed himself into something sinister and amazing. He became the foundational personality of a hive mind called the Battery, which made him into a sentient electric charge of energy. Number 4, Venom of Earth 928. Venom has always been a fascinating character, thanks to his humble beginnings as an alien costume for Spider Man. Fueled by his hate and its rejection, Venom bonded with Eddie Brock, and the two became one of Spider Man's deadliest foes. Over on Earth 928, though, Venom bonded with Cron Stone, the son of Alchemax director Tyler Stone. He's also the half brother of Miguel O'Hara, otherwise known as Spider Man 2099. Kron was tasked by his father to kill the family of Jake Gallows, but when he found his son wounded, he chucked him into the sewer. There he found the Venom symbiote and the two bonded to become the Venom of the 2099 reality. Over the years it was stuck in the sewers, the Venom symbiote mutated, becoming more powerful than it was in the 20th and 21st centuries. Venom now could spit acidic saliva, and his blood was also acidic like he was a bloody xenomorph or something, but the symbiote also bonded with Kron on a molecular level. This gave him an amorphous physiology, which gave him many of the abilities and properties of the symbiote, including the ability to shapeshift in a limited fashion. Number 3, Vulture of Earth 82081. The Vulture of Earth 616 was all about using his mechanical wings to fly in and out of locations for thieving purposes, but it wasn't long before Spider-Man worked out a way to defeat him. He's popped up numerous times over the years and has caused some problems, but overall he's not as dangerous as the character seen in Spider-Man Homecoming. There are several versions of the Vulture who are far more sinister in other realities though. Adrian Toomes of Earth 82081 is the Vulture of that reality, but things are different in the battle world of New Quack City than they are on Earth 616. In this reality, Tombs is actually a vulture, albeit an anthropomorphic one. Tombs is the leader of the Vulture Robbers, which is an organization made up of vultures who, well, you get the idea. Anyway, Howard the Human owes the gang money, and he and Tombs get into a bit of a confrontation about this fact in Howard the Human number one, which is the character's sadly only appearance. Number 2, Scorpion of Earth, TRN 700. The Scorpion is one of the few villains created slash helped along by J. Jonah Jemison in the main Marvel Universe, but over time he went from bad to worse. Tech upgrades and a bad attitude made him far more dangerous to the rest of the world, and it wasn't long before he became one of Spider-Man's rogues. In the reality of Earth TRN 700, Maximus Gargan fled the United States to escape capture. He became a mob boss in Mexico, where he worked with the Prowler, and it wasn't long before he hunted his former ally to New York to collect on a debt. The Scorpion of this reality appears to be based primarily on the Scorpion of the Ultimate Universe, though the animated version is far deadlier. Instead of carrying a large scorpion stinger at the end of a chain, the Scorpion of Earth TRN 700 is outfitted with far more mechanical gear. Only his torso, head, and right arm appear to be unaltered, while his left arm is an enlarged scorpion claw. He sits atop a mech suit comprised of four mechanical insect-like legs and controls a massive scorpion tail and stinger. He's the mecha version of the scorpion, and he's as dangerous as he looks. Number 1, 
Doctor Doom of Earth 8311. In the Marvel Universe, Doctor Doom is primarily a villain of the Fantastic Four, but the ruler of Latveria sets his sights on angering everyone else, so he's been a principal foe to the Silver Surfer, the Avengers, and everyone's friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. It seems he doesn't remain a bad guy to just the Fantastic Four in other realities either, as he's proven he can't play well with anyone in spandex across the entire multiverse. There are numerous versions of Doctor Doom across the Marvel multiverse as well, of course, but the craziest one has to be from Earth 8311. If you don't know, that's the reality that Spider-Ham calls home, and all the characters of that universe are again anthropomorphic animals, including Doctor Doom. Of course, he's not simply called Doctor Doom here, and prefers to go by the moniker Doctor Doom due to the simple fact that, well, he's a duck, but he's still a doctor. In this reality, Doom is pretty much the same guy as he is in others. He's the leader of a nation, he's got a PhD, aka a pretty huge duck, he's a bad guy, and he's got some serious clout in the superpower department, but that's not all. Here, he's also a successful pop star. Man, I just want to buy this dude a drink. So that's our list. Let's know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you already know about these crazy versions of Spider-Man's rogues gallery? And are there any that I missed off here? Either way, while you're down there, could you give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.